Everybody hear that, right? Yes. Right. Okay, so this brash young jockey was visiting uh, John's stables. The, the, the jockey's name is Jack, by the way. Great. <laughs> and the jockey is looking to ride a horse. So the, the, the stable guy, right, says, listen here, I've got just the horse for you. The only thing is he was trained by an interesting fellow. He goes by the normal way, you know, you can kick him in the side a little bit and he takes off and you can say, you know, let's go. And he, and he goes, but to really get him to go fast, you got to say, thank God. <laughs> the jockey brashly says, yeah, yeah. And he says, well, to get him to stop, you know, you can try pulling back or saying, whoa, but that's not going to work. You have to say, hey, hey, to get him to stop. You know, and so the, the, you know, the jockey says, right. So he mounts the horse and goes through the countryside, you know, and he's, he's gone along. And all of a sudden he comes to this, this place where there's a cliff and the horse starts running toward the edge of the cliff and he pulls back on the, the uh, what do you call it, the bridle? Reins. The what? Reins, reins. The reins, nothing yeah. happens. He says, stop, 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 and nothing happens. And he finally remembers what the what the uh, horse owner said. He says, "Hey, hey!" and it stops. You know how they have in those movies? You know, the the horse's front paw, front legs, just reach the edge of the, the uh, cliff. And the, the stones are tumbling off the cliff. You know, and he got stopped stopped just in time. And he says, "Thank God." <laughs> <laughs> talk about uh, we're on a new adventure today where we're entering the world of using your your iPads to using your iPads to write documents okay so the first thing I'd like everybody to do I'm going to share my screen and what I have on my screen today, And what I have on my screen today are two iPads. The one on the left is my old one, the one on the right is my new one. And what I'd like everybody to do is go to the bookstore. You know, I sent you a document, it's, it's like 50 pages long. I know, thanks. <laughs> At 11 o'clock last night. <laughs> And what I want to do is, since we covered books last time, is I'd like you to go to the bookstore. All right? That's this icon on my, the iPad on the right on the screen. Go to the bookstore. Bookstore. The bookstore looks like Looks like an orange uh, background with a book open. <coughs> we go to the bookstore. It, now is that a book? <coughs> and then, pardon me? Mine is now at a book. Right. You should have the icons across the bottom. It says read now, library, bookstore, et cetera, et cetera. If that's not in the back bottom. Yes, yes. Tap yes. Got the back arrow at the top. Got it. And Let me see. mute myself because I can't stop talking. Okay. And type in 
pages user's guide for iPad or just type in pages user. And tap search and you should get it to come up in the bookstore down there. And then Bill, where do you, Bill, where do you type that in? I don't have any place to type it in. It should be at the top of the screen. If you don't oh, have, I have to hit, hit search. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and I'm typing in what? Pages. Pages. Pages user. Thank you. And you should be able to, it should come up. It should like look like the icon on the screen there. Okay. And that's the one you want to download. You want us to hit get? Yes, please. Bill, all it does is go to my book that I'm reading. Hit the back arrow at the top. In other words, click the screen and then hit the back arrow. If you're already on a book, it looks like this, that's a book I'm reading. You click the, you click the screen or you tap the screen and then tap the back arrow and then tap search at the bottom. Not what mine does at all. Say again. I said that's not what mine does at all. It just goes to my book. I don't have any arrow. Tap, no, the, tap the screen. All right. Do you have a back arrow now? No, I have the one that you can send, the one that goes up. That arrow. What what application? And all it does is tell me. I don't know if I even need this. Are you, using, no the, are you using the book's application? Yes, I had that, I click it, and it just comes to my Barack Obama book. So here's the book. Here's top. Just a minute, that may be somebody trying to get into the class. Hello? Yes. Uh, I sent you the uh, link, I don't have a link for you. Oh, there you are. I got you. <laughs> you should be getting in now. So if you're looking for a... Uh... Now I have to screw something up. You tap the screen. Now I've got it on my iPad. I was trying to use it, my iPhone to get it, and now it's on my iPad. I don't even want it on my iPad. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it says library, bookstore, audiobook, search. Search is what you want to click on. Okay. All right. Okay, so those of you who just joined us, we've gone to the bookstore and we've downloaded the book that I sent you last night instead of you looking at it on the computer, which you can do. And this way you can look at it on your iPad as well. I've got, it where, it's, okay, I've go got it where it says get. Do I push, do I press get? Yep. I've got the book. Yep, you press get. <laughs> and then install if that comes up next or something like that. Meeting to sign in, is that, I'm at a correct place then? Yeah, you to have to sign, sign in with your in. Apple ID? Yes, you do. That Apple ID should be there. You need to put your Apple password. Bill, do I have to do that all the way print because I printed it all out? It's okay. That works too. Okay. 
<clears throat> After the get downloads, the next one, it says read. Yeah, click read and you'll open it. And you should get something that looks like that. Whoops. <laughs> Something looks like the left hand page here. Okay, mine says for the iPhone, I must turn. Do I have to start all over again to get the one for iPad? Were you on your iPhone when you were trying to get it? No, I'm on my iPad. And you and it said there were two of them? I didn't see but one that I thought. And what I'm looking at now it says it's for iPhone. So I need to start over? Yeah, you go, you can go <laughs> back. Try, try it again. <laughs> Mine's not working that way at all. I'm just going to follow you on my printed page. Hey, Bill, how do you get a two page view instead of a one page view? In the bookstore? When you're looking at a book, you're talking about. I'm looking at the pages right now, and it's just all. It's just a one page. I like the two page layout. Ralph has the two page layout and he doesn't oh, layout. Oh, he's it's too bad. <laughs> I think he's you have to what? reduce you have to reduce the size of the font. Mine's <laughs> awful small right now. <laughs> well, small. That's not working for me. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know how you get that anyway. The font. Oh, there's the font. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I did because I was playing with that last night and I thought yeah. it was when I changed the font size. Oh, I got it now. There's those little triple bars on the left near the back arrow. No, no, that works on, that just gets you the table of contents. You have to get it down to that size. Oh. And then it does the two pages. Hmm. If you make the font bigger now, it goes to one page. It's darker. Well, that is, oh, here, I'll do this. There we go. You got it. You got it. Okay. That was really, we got it. I think we got it. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Everybody with me? Yes? No? <laughs> yes, on the pages user guide for iPad. Okay. So on the ba paid pages basics. Yep. Let's talk in general about word processing. Um, there are basically two types of word process or two types of ways you can work with putting in numbers and letters and having a document at the end. One is called word processing, and that's like Microsoft Word. The other one is called page layout. And what we mean by page layout is you just don't start typing to put in a document, you have to create objects. And one of the objects you create is a text box where you put text in it. Many pamphlets and uh, posters use this thing called page layout. 
It's also called, I believe, publisher in, in Microsoft World. And page layout says, hey, if you want to put text over here, you create a text box and put it in. Word processing, on the other hand, you just start typing to put in data, and then you can insert pictures and things like that within your document. So uh, with, with uh, pages from Apple, they allow you to do both. But we're just gonna talk about using it as uh, basic word processing, very similar to Word. All right. And what I'd like to do, and I'm gonna bring up notes, if I can find it. Somewhere here, there it is. I'm gonna bring up pages. So everybody open pages. You may have something that looks similar to mine on the screen. Bill, are you in the Pages app or Pages, or are you in Notes? Pages, Pages. Open the Pages application. How do you get to that portion that's showing on your iPad? I'm still at the page basics. Intro to pages. It's a place where I could push wide word process. You just open pages, is that correct? Or do you open the book? <laughs> on the left side of my screen is the book. On the right side is the pages application. I do not have the pages application. I have the page, word pages basic, number one on your. Gotcha. Now, what I want you to do is go back to your home screen and you may have to go to the app store and get pages. So I'm gonna go on this screen over here and I put my finger right in the middle of the screen and I pull down and I type in pages, P A. G E S. And pages should show up right here at the top. If it does not, you have to go to the App Store and download that. I discovered I already have pages on my laptop. I mean, excuse me, on my iPad. That's great. Just tap it and open it. What's new in pages? You can skip by that portion. Continue or go to the next screen or whatever. Recently deleted. That's where you want to be. <laughs> At recents or recents del recently deleted? Just tap on recents. You may not have anything there. Two pages that are blank. One that says blank and one says note taken. That's okay. You're good. I'm actually where you say we should be. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully everyone else is there as well. Are we? No. Yeah. Oh, me. Yes. yes. <laughs> that little symbol, that little icon has been on my laptop ever since I got it. I had no idea what it was for. Well, you just now opened Apple's version of Microsoft of Word. And they call Great. it Pages. Okay. <laughs> Everybody with me? Yes, no? Yes. No. <laughs> if you're not, where, where are you? Go ahead and speak up. Version. Somebody said no. <laughs> Version. Okay. So I want to help you get there. 
Now, what's the usual thing we tap when we want to create something new? Like in contacts, what would we press in contacts to add a new contact? Plus the sign. Plus sign. Well, that's what this plus sign is all about here. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to click that. Oop. And it comes up and says, hey, you got to choose a template. Now, many of you may not be familiar with what templates are. Well, that's a basic. Yes. <laughs> templates are, if I scroll down here, you'll see I have many different kinds of templates. If yeah. I were working on a, uh, uh, a book, and I wanted to start, I could use the training book as a template. Then they have letters, professional letters. And these are all templates where it comes up and shows you suggested places to put text and you replace what's in there with what you wanna put in there. So these are things that are already formatted, if you will, or laid out the way you might want to see them now, if you're working on a two column newspaper, look at that. Oh my gosh, don't show that to me. If you're working on cards, right? They come up and have a card, then you would replace the picture and the text, et cetera, with your own personal updates. <clears throat> Certificates. So they have all these, what they're calling templates. Now, what we're going to do so we're going to start with a blank template. And I assume everybody knows the difference between portrait and landscape, right? Portrait is eight and a half by 11. Landscape is 11 by eight and a half. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to click the blank. Yay. Okay, and it should come up and have a little blinking cursor there where you can just start typing. Now we're gonna, we're gonna hesitate on the typing just a minute or so. Just cover some of the basic things that are at the top of the screen. If I click documents, it's gonna take me to where I can go get a different document. I don't wanna go there. That's equivalent to clicking on folders in files and folders on a computer. The next thing over there allows me to change the way I'm viewing this. I could do it in two page mode where it says page one and page two. I wanna turn on my word count so I can see how many words I'm typing. And you see the ruler there? I'm gonna turn on the ruler as well. And I get a nice ruler at the top. I'm gonna to turn off smart annotation. That's for a later class. What did, you, what did you click on to get there? I happen to be writing some. This little thing right here that I'm putting my mouse, putting my circle on. Thank you. Okay. If I were creating a list, I could click this and it would make a list. Now I'm gonna turn it off. I could also make a table of contents. I'm not gonna do that either, <laughs> right? Here's the undo button. Everybody may be familiar with that. If I type something and click the undo button, it undoes what I just typed. And the issue here, here, here is there's no redo button. And I wondered where that was. And what you do is you press and hold the undo to get the redo. Okay. Or undo what you just did. Okay. We come over here to the paintbrush. Anybody have an idea what that's all about? I'm sure three of you clicked that already. Formatting. <laughs> and we'll cover that in detail, but it's where you can go to format. A whole lot of different stuff. Okay. The plus sign. 
whoa, I already in a document. If I'm in a document and hit the plus sign, that usually means, hey, I want to add something to the document, like right. a photo, a camera picture, a web video, an image. Get the idea? Yeah. So these are things you can add. It also has here, I could put a table in here. I could put a chart in here. I could put special objects. So these are, this is where I'd go to insert a bunch of stuff. That's the plus sign. Hey, Bill. Go ahead. On my screen, where yours is white there, mine is black. How can I change that to get it like yours? You in night mode? I mean, well, maybe it's, it's black. So I guess that is night mode. But I, I didn't do anything to get it. It just happened. Let's see. If I change mine to night mode, that does that. It was one of the documents, the pages, the blank pages that was black. Originally, was when it? I went online. Is that the one? Hold on just a minute. Page four pages. Looks like that, Jim. No, mine is black. Mine's completely black. So is mine now. I don't see yours is on the screen. I'm seeing is white. Oh, is white up at the top? No, white. Here, there you're on white right now. That's white. This is white. Yours is black. Yes. You must have chosen chosen the wrong template. So hit the plus sign and try a different one. I'm sorry, not the plus sign. Hit the documents and try a different one. Hit the plus sign. Okay. Yeah, there is one there called a black. Blank. blank black, that's what it is. Mine's called blank black. Yeah, choose a different one. Which one? Blank. blank. Just one that says blank. Okay, we have a uh, click on the plus. Just tap it and it'll come up. Blank landscape. Portrait. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're learning more than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get mine like yours. <laughs> if you go to documents and I go to plus and there's blank, blank landscape, blank black and note taking. There's a bunch of them there. Okay. Wait, how do I get to that now? That screen. Okay. All right, you're in a document right now? No. Where are you? One that looks like mine right now? I'm clicking on pages. I clicked pages right now. Okay. And what came up? Well, I've got recents is selected over on the left-hand side. Okay, hit the plus sign up here at the top. Okay, plus sign, I did that. Okay, now you should see you choose templates. Yes, I do. And you should see recent and basic and lands, right? Yes. Don't choose the black one. <laughs> choose which one? Well, this one of these two. Wait a minute. Blank, just blank. Yep. Okay, I'll choose blank. Okay, I've, choose, I've chosen that blank. I've got, okay, mine's like yours now. <laughs> okay. Not me. No, what you Now, over here, this is where I would go and I'm just briefly covering what's on the top bar there, right? Here's where I would go, this guy, is where I would go to share this document. Now I'm choosing not to share it. The three dots, what do they do? Oh, I can print it from here. Wow, I can do things like bookmark and set up a password, and, okay? And I can share from here as well. Okay. The one with the people on it or the person on it, when they talk about sharing, they're talking about working collaboratively with someone else to create a document. Unless you're working on a newsletter and you're uh, and you want somebody else to look at it and edit it and send it back to you. 
you're not going to get involved in this one, but you will do this one. Okay. And the last one there takes you out of the capability of editing. So if it says edit in the upper right hand corner, you need to click that so you can edit your document. Okay. Now, does everybody have this particular line above their keyboard? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Yes, sort of, yes. Sort of, not all of it. No, because I have a keyboard. If you have an external keyboard, you don't have that. I don't have all the uh, things you have on the left. Hmm, that's interesting. I just have the uh, the arrow, and I have at the end I have the ABC. I don't have the two in the middle. I don't either. We're, we're on older revs. That's why we don't see it. Older revs of uh, pages. Oh, pages. Okay. Uh -huh. Older what? Thank you, Greg. Older revision. Oh, I have the latest version of the pages. Now I I do have a, my device may be older. Well, but if your device isn't running the latest iOS software, you don't have the latest version of Pages. You just have the latest one that runs with your operating system. Well, I have, uh, the only one I haven't downloaded is the latest one, what is it, 14 point? Uh, yeah, I got you. Let's go ahead and see if it develops. Notes for, uh, for Pages. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if these develop. How, how can we get back to the, how do I get back to this? I had it on the, this is Leah, I had it on the screen until I began clicking some of those things that you had up at the top and then I've, and I don't know how to get back to it. <laughs> so what's on your screen right now? I have the top row that says documents and blank two yep. and Low and top row, and that's all. You don't have anything in this area? No. We didn't Nothing anything. for the rest of the page. Well, click, tap on the rest, tap on the bottom part of the page. Thank you very much. You got it. <laughs> it's called Poke and Hope. Um, so you don't have the ruler up here? I wanted everybody to turn on the ruler when I was there. No, I do not. I don't have that. Uh, where was the ruler? <laughs> we clicked here, we, right beside documents. We clicked that and we turned on ruler and word count. At least. Bill, can I ask you something? Yes, go ahead. Um, I have all what you have, but on, but on the left side, I have a, a pane search and enter website name and, and I cannot get rid of it. So I see one third of, of the page is covered by, by this search or enter website name. And I, how do I get rid of that? So, so that I can see the full, uh, the full uh, screen. You're saying the left side is filled with that stuff or right side? Yes, the left side. Looks like that. No, it, it's it's a whole it's a whole thing. It says search or enter website name, and then comes what is available: favorites, member details, frequently visited. It 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 blocks it, and I I tried everything. I cannot get rid of it. What's the right side? The right side is is what you are showing us. That is there, but this the left side is blocked by by a panel, you know, about a is the left side is the right side a partial or is it just a smaller version of what I have? No, it looks like like yours, but uh, but um, I, I, I was trying to do that a long time. Do you have a line going down through the middle? No. 
Or on the left side between the two, do you have a line? No. Okay. Uh, I recommend you double tap the home button. Yes. And get it, stop everything that's running and then start pages again. Okay, thank you. All right. I assume everybody can type, so. I'd like everybody to type that. Do you want us to type what you're typing or anything? No, I want you to type what I'm typing. <laughs> okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So if I kind of review what we've done, we just figured out how to get the, the, um, the pages book on our device. We've opened up pages. We know how to know how to start a basic document with nothing in it. Unless you like dark mode. <laughs> like Jim. If you had the dark mode, could you type on it with um, oh, that wasn't dark. Lighter, le le lighter letters? I don't ask Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it was black letters with white. Does it automatically become one? I hope so. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and then we just covered the little controls that are at the top there, right? What we could have done is just open pages, clicked on document and clicked right here and started typing our, our document, whatever we wanted to write. Right, I do that all the time. Okay. And that's what it's designed to do. So it's a relatively easy application to get started with. And, and that's true about most of Apple's things. Once you get a few basic things understood, now we're going to un unlayer some of the onion. I'd like to select some text here. I'd like to select the word brown. So I put my mouse or I, I tap the word brown and you see the little select area that comes up with the popsicle stick from top and bottom. And you can move the popsicle stick to, to encompass more. How do you get that? I don't, mine doesn't do that. If you just press and hold the word brown. Press and hold? Just press oh, okay. and hold brown and then release. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, it says cut, copy, delete, replace, define. You can do a bunch of controls here, including highlight. Oh, phonics, whoa, common. 
So there's a lot of things you can do. Most people either cut, copy, or paste, or something like that at this point. Okay? But what more can you do now, now that you have a, a word processing program? And I go up here to the paintbrush. Whatever I have selected, I can now come down here and change the font size. So just on the word brown, I'm going to increase it by have clicking the plus sign. OK? And then I can decrease it by hitting the minus sign. Now, I really wanted to change the font size on the whole document, on the whole line. So I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to move the popsicle, the upper pointy popsicle stick to the left. Come on, one more, one more, one more letter. There we go. And move the lower popsicle stick to the other end of the document. And now I'm going to tap the paintbrush. And now I can request increase the font size on the entire area I have selected to make it much more legible. I can bold it, italicize it, underscore it, and put a line through it. So I'm just going to bold it. I can hit these dots here and, and make it a subtitle. That actually drops the text down or drop brings the text up, up and down. I think that I'll, I'll leave yours the way it is. I just want to show you that effect. I have the word brown selected. And if I hit this A, see how it raised it? So it'd be like uh, X squared. Over here, if I hit the other one, it lowers it. I could also choose to make that word all caps. Okay. Ooh, look at this. This is for Jim. He can make all his text white. <laughs> if I click the arrow here and I make brown white, it disappears, right? It's still there, but it's matching the, co the uh, color of the paper. And I can pick all kinds of different colors. I want to change it back to black. Now I'm going to expand it so it looks like yours. Bill, Go ahead. I have a I have a tip for selecting text. If you double tap a word, it selects the word. If you tr triple tap, it selects the sentence. One, two, or, three. Or the paragraph. Or, uh, that the, does work. Thank you. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. It's easier than dragging. It is. I think, isn't that the paragraph? I think it's the paragraph. Yeah, you're right. It's the paragraph. And <clears throat> there is a way to do the sentence, too. I think it's shift double click or you know, yeah, the, yeah, you have to have a keyboard to do that, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are are you not going to discuss the character style and the and the oh yeah uh, paragraph style? I was or, going, yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, okay. But I want to wait till I get a different document to do that. Okay. What else can we cover here? <clears throat> oh, 
You can left justify it, center it on the page, right justify it. And this, is, this particular one is called justified. And I'll, you've seen a justified document probably this morning if you read the paper. If you read the paper, it has columns in it, right? In each column, the text seems to end squarely at the end and start squarely at the other edge. And it's called justified. And the way they do that is they make slightly more or less space between the words and or the letters to make the end and the beginning of a, of a line be at the edges. It makes the newsletter look very neat. It does, doesn't it? Out of it this week. You can make a bullet to list. This is where you would start one. You can change your line spacing. And we'll do those couple other ones when we get a, a more um, robust document. Okay. So what we're going to do is we can get a. Uh, okay. Oh, let's, let's, let's go this way. Um, let's go back to documents. And I want to add a new document. And what we'll do is pick one that has a lot of stuff in it. See where it says essay? Let me see if there's a different one. Is there a save as when you're in a document or that'll come later? Come later. <laughs> it is actually saving it as we type. But they're all called blank and so you'd need to rename it. Correct. Well, mine's named blank. I'm on blank four right now. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Could you repeat that quickly, how you got to where you want to be? Yep, yeah, glad to. Just hit blank. Yeah, I was, on, I was on. Mine looks different. I was on blank, right? And I went to the documents up here, hit the back arrow, or hit it. And it comes up with this thing. It says pages and recents. Back arrow. I don't okay. have a back arrow. No, it's not a back arrow, it just says documents. I don't know where I am now. <laughs> You're gonna have to describe have, it. <laughs> I have reasons. Good, it says reasons right there. See yeah. the plus sign? Yes, tap that. Ah, okie doke. Now, if everybody got the email I sent, if you open the email I sent. Let's do that. I sent everybody an email. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go to my mail. And you got an email that had three things attached to it. It says starters and starters two. Yes. Hopefully we all found that. Just double click on starters. And here is, and it says open in pages in the upper left hand, right hand side. Click that. And now you're in pages with that particular document. I didn't get that. It just opened and it didn't ask me where. Up, up in the upper right hand side, it should say open in pages. No, it did not. It just opened probably in my word processing word. It opened in Word? Well, it doesn't really say where it opened, but 
Um, there is nothing on the top. Um, if I click it, it says starter pages and then it's got the triangle with the plus and the share button. And it's there? Yeah, because I had because I had uh, pages open, when I clicked on that email link, it opened it directly into pages. Did it? Okay. You might ask if I wanted to open it into pages. Yeah, mine came up that way too. It says open in pages up here. Yeah. That's what mine had. Okay, it says beautiful bamboo. <laughs> Oh, Sharon, does yours look like this? Yes. Just tap the screen. And you should get a drop down from the top. Does, but it does not have what you have. Doesn't say open in pages? Nope. Wow. <laughs> Is everybody else where we are? Anybody else where Sharon is? I'm where Sharon is. Well, actually, I'm worse. I'm still looking for your email. <laughs> <laughs> it was last so, night, you know, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you remember I had to, to re-get all of them. Oh. Oh, you had to get them all. Right. Well, they should be in uh, date order. Well, it says yesterday. Yeah. Okay, I've got page. I got it now. Okay. Mine says I have 445 words in this document. Yeah, how did you get that? I don't have the keyboard or anything. I just have the document. Then it came up. Pages. We'll tap the screen. Just tap the screen, okay. I should be able nothing, to tap my mind. Nothing happened. And do you have a bar that shows up at the bottom? No. No. Are you in? Does it say documents at the top? Yep. No keyboard. It, no? Does no it keyboard. say edit over in the right corner? Yes. Click on edit. There we go on the top. I don't have anything on the bottom though. I don't have a keyboard yet either. There's not a bar across the bottom? No. Only well, says 445 words. <laughs> Tap the screen. Aha. Oh, that did it. <laughs> Poke and hope, right? <laughs> I've got the. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Well, I don't have the. I have the ruler on top, but I don't have the little arrow. Oh, and the tap the screen or when the tap up there. That's the what little arrow. I can't get the keyboard. Oh, now I did. Okay. It just appeared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Magic here. I love it. It's all discovery, folks. It's all discovery, and it feels good when it works. <laughs> Not so good when it doesn't. Uh, how do you get the little arrows in the ruler? We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> you tap the screen and the keyboard shows up, they should show up. No. Move your cursor to beautiful bamboo. Oh, yeah, I got it now, thanks. My problem was the, pro the file opened in Word by default. Right. So I had to go back to your email, save it, now, I guess I went into the Word document and said, save to pages. Ah, okay. And so then I could open it in pages. Oh, so you, so your Word program probably says use as default versus pages. Yes, it's probably the default. Yeah, if you went into settings pages, I think you could set that as your default. Not that you might want to do that yet. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to do that. Well, come on. <laughs> We're Apple people here. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Sharon, I use Word all the time. So, mm -hmm. all right. Let's, let's try that insert thing, right? 
So I want to go up here and click the plus sign. And we'll go to image gallery. Oh, this is going to work. I haven't tried that. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have an image gallery, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> if you click the plus sign in the image gallery, you can either choose a photo or take a photo. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I just hit the plus sign and I'm gonna choose a photo. And I'm gonna search for, I don't have any bamboo pictures. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do palm, P-A-L-M. I'm going to do palm trees and we'll choose this one. And there it is, right in the middle of my document. And I can slide it around. How did you get it to, to your document? Yeah, what happened? I started, I'm in, I'm in my, let me start over. You're in, you're in pictures and you've chosen. Oh, one. no, no, I'm in my document. Well, we went to photos to get it though. And then we hit the plus sign and we go to photos. Yeah. And then I, I wanted to search to find some trees. <laughs> right? And now I have some pictures of palm trees here. Okay, Ann, are you with me? Yeah. I've got I've got the picture up and I've got the document starters and everything and the paintbrush and everything on top, but I don't have the bamboo word document underneath it. Okay, well, okay, then what's the next step? Do the next one. Which one do you choose? All right. Go back to just you're looking at the document, Anne, please. And let me know when you're there. Well, I'm back to pages recent and do you, have a, like it you don't have the who doc document? No, I don't have the document up. It says recent. Should I search something? No, go back to the mail and click on the bamboo in your mail. Yeah, I went back to Neil, and I've got beautiful bamboo up. Okay. Click. Then it says at the Hold top, on, it says open in pages. Yeah, open in pages. And then click beside the word. Just make sure the cursor is blinking at the end of the first word bamboo. Okay. And now hit the plus sign. Go to your photos. Find a picture you'd like to put in. <laughs> How about some eggplants? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do some oh. palm tree. We'll get this one. So I, I went in and I just clicked on the picture I wanted to insert in the document. I've done that. Okay. I did that too. It doesn't go. All right. And then let's make it a little smaller. Click on the picture. Make it a little smaller. And now you can position it anywhere within the document you want. I assume you can do that. Yes. Okay. That did it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes.
when you have, if you click on that object or that picture you put in your document and you click the paintbrush, you end up with some different options here. Okay. You can change its size by changing the numbers here. You can rotate it. Are you in style, image, or arrange? Arrange. Arrange. I'm sorry, that's where mine came up first. It's very good though. I'm gonna turn out, move with text, I'm gonna turn that off. There's a feature called wrapping. And I wanna wrap text automatically. When working with a picture within a document, you want to wrap, and I'm going to make it around. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. Wow. Yes. Hmm. Mine did. Mine's not let me. Oh, there it is. So now when I move the object, the text kind of just circles around it. Mm. Which makes it kind of nice working with an object. Mm -hmm. Where did you get that option? I'm, I have the object selected. In this case, it's a picture. I tap the paintbrush. There are three uh, things at the top: style, image, and and uh, arrange. Okay. I click the range. And then down here, I turned off move with text and it's where it says text wrap. We can make it just above and below. We can do, uh, <laughs> what happens? When I haven't tried none. What's that do? Oh, it covers it up. <laughs> Mm. You may not want to do that one. I usually choose the, the round one. And then adjust the size of the picture. Feel on mine, that on our, the first thing in a range, there's a line that says move back, move to back slash front. Okay. And it, if, the line is orange. I know. If I, if I do right. that, well, I, I can't do it because I don't have, I have text wrap in the wrong place. Uh -huh. If I turn on text wrapping and go Automatic. back, I'll bet I can adjust it now. Nope, won't let me do it now either. Ooh. My text wrap is an automatic. I know it won't. It won't let me do it, huh? Hmm. And I'm not sure why. With you, Bill, I mine's great. My mind is great. I I can't get up the move. Yep, same here. Oh, I just pushed on it and I made it gray. I pushed on it, swung it to the left, and it went gray. And then I hit it the little round circle again and held it down and good to the right and it highlighted again. Huh. Well, you you have a control we don't. <laughs> okay. Well, how how can you justify the text on that page? We'll get there in a minute. It is justified. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh I have to select get the it. text first. Okay, so Anne's making a point here. Let me let me take this opportunity. Uh, 
I just selected the entire document. And can you tell me how you selected the entire document? I uh, I used the balloons, unless Greg has a shortcut for us. <laughs> it's control A, if you had a control A. But there isn't a control A, right? Not much yet. Well, that doesn't work either. I selected the word bamboo, and then I moved the balloon to the end of the document. Okay. Then we go if, to the if paint. You, if you hit select all, it does it. Uh, the entire document or the paragraph? Ooh, that's good to know, Ben. Thank you. Let me it's see. the whole document. I don't have a select all option now. Yes, when you start, when you start on, on you must if I do. <laughs> start oh, start I there. So. <laughs> See, I don't have a select all. I have copy, delete, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Try Command A if there's a command on your on my keyboard. Yeah, and I have an external keyboard, folks. So. That's why he's, he's suggesting that command A. That did it. <laughs> but you have to have an external keyboard to do that. You can also, I did just get it again that says select all. And I, and I just put my finger on the B for beautiful and moved up a bit. And it came up with select, select all, highlight, and comment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. What did you do? You moved it slightly up. It could be because I have an external keyboard on here. I don't have a select all either on the, I entered the word, highlighted the word and the choice button, point choice line came up, hit the arrow to continue and there is no select all on. Did you, do you have an external keyboard? No, sir. Oh. <laughs> it works, it works on mine. <laughs> And it works on mine. Sometimes it works. <laughs> I think it's it, you. You don't want to select a word. You want to position the cursor within the word. Yeah. Try that. Okay. And then what? Well, when you tap, when you tap on it, tap just tap it. Bill, you got out. it. You ha you had it. No. Yes, just putting your no, cursor. You did it too long. <laughs> I did it too long. Thanks. Okay, the cursor's there. Okay. <laughs> Just tap the word. I tap the word. <laughs> okay, I have a surefire way to do it. <laughs> it works for all of us. You just grab the little balloon there, <laughs> move it to the end of the document. <laughs> hey, now I got it all. <laughs> okay. Now what was I going to do here? Try oh, not selecting a word, but putting your cursor in a blank spot. Right before okay. the B. Right before the B. And right B. before, yeah. Okay. <laughs> in the blank space in between beautiful and bamboo on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> as long as we have a technique that works, we're good. I have the command A. <laughs> You're just not holding your mouth right when you do it. <laughs> 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 <There's something. laughs>
It could be this mouse. It could be that. <laughs> All right. I thought yeah. he said you're not holding your mouth correctly, not your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I did too, but I took it, you know, he didn't mean that, did he? <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> We wanted to justify this document. See how the edge is kind of messed up over here on the left, on the right? So if we click the paintbrush, and where was it? Down here, it's the justifications. And I hit the justify here. Think. And now the edge is square on the left and the right. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have as many. When I hit the paintbrush, I get text color, and then underneath that, the over to the left, over to the right. Do I go to the one that says over to the right, or to the one at the very end, which is all one line? Just a minute. Where do I get into my document here? Hit the paintbrush. Scroll down. It's this one, Ann. Your keyboard also. You don't have I to could have done it here. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, I'd like everybody to grab a picture. Everybody go get your pictures, come down to the next paragraph where it says types of bamboo. Put your cursor there and add another picture. <coughs> I'm gonna put a maple tree in there. <laughs> Bill, what did you what are you we're supposed to hit after we put our cursor after types of bamboo? I don't have anything. Okay. I want to hit the plus sign. That's where we're going to add another picture. I have basic geometry objects. A whole bunch of stuff. It's the one on the right. Go to the right. Aha. Aha. Gotcha. I ever got so what do you do after you select the picture? It should come into your document. How do you get it? I'm sorry, but how do you get it back to that document? Okay, I'm going to do it again. Go down to the next paragraph. At the end, no, down here. So I'm going to put it right That's here. <laughs> and I'm going to hit the paintbrush. I'm sorry, hit the plus sign, hit the photos. We're going to go find a picture. And it, once I tap this picture in, I'm going to tap this one. It puts it in your document. Wow. And then you can change the size of the picture. Then I'm going to change the wrap feature. Okay. Everybody got that much? A picture or two or three in your document? Yeah. Bill, this is Joan. Um, 
does numbers let you crop at this point or do you have to do that somewhere else? What do I want to do, crop it? Crop it. If I've got a part of that picture that I don't want. Let me see. If I, will, let me see if it allows you to do that. Yes, it does. Uh, you double double tap it and then change the slider. Double tap. And then drag the little white dot. Ooh. And then drag then. Put your finger Ooh. on the picture and move it around. Ooh, that's pretty cool, Greg. Good one. You can Ooh, crop, crop it. Crop just it. please do that again. Sure. Yeah, do that again. <laughs> I, that was amazing. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll start it over again. Okay, here's my picture. Right. And I just want to, I want to eliminate all this background here. So what Greg do say to do? Double click, but then if you pull the corner, you can crop. And we're going to, we're going to, oh, I can crop it from here now? Yes. Oh, look at that. Corner. I know, I'm on a corner. Just to get the top of it. All right. And, and what Greg says, I can also move it around so that I only I only want this much. Right. And then we tap done. Oop. There it is. Hey, that's pretty cool. This is a powerful little tool here we got. <laughs> Hit the it's the almost the same processor, same software that's in the Mac. The interface is a little bit different. So it's almost as powerful as the Mac, but not quite. Yeah. So we can, we can arrange here. We talked about that. Image, what's this? Edit mask, what's a, what's a mask, Greg? That's the part that you, the picture is bigger than what you see and the mask cuts the picture down, the visible part. And the instant alpha is a way to take away, you want to you want to carve that tree out of the background. It works better with the background solid, but you can pick, pick a face out of a background. Is that right? Wow. Mm -hmm. And then stick the face somewhere else in another picture or wherever. That's super. And then set as placeholder, that, that becomes a default. So when you, when you add, 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 add another picture in, it goes in at that size and location. Gotcha. Okay. Now, style. Somebody's got, somebody's got, uh, that's Nan. And yeah, Nan, that's you. Sure. I can change. Should I mute you? The end is in place. Okay, I muted man. Ooh. Okay, can you everybody hear me? Yeah. Anybody? Can you yes. Me? Yes, we can hear you. You can change some of the way the uh, picture looks. You come down here to border. You can make the border wider or narrower. You change the style of the border to be a white edge, a whole bunch of different things. This is called playing with your photographs, right? Reflection, ooh. Or shadow. Bill, could you drag that picture to the left so we can see the effect of what you're changing a little better when you hit that paintbrush? Right. Idea. Thank you. The 
think I'll turn off something here. We're just gonna make it a frame picture. And then we go down to... Change the opacity and you can see through the picture. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so then if you put it on top of something, well, I can't. I well, gotta, you have to change the arrangement. Yeah, yeah. But. I have to change the. Uh, and then we'll make it. Uh, nine. None? Okay. I think. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not either. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, okay. There, yeah. So you can really just make this a background on your. Yeah, you can make the whole yeah background of the whole page. Now we've thoroughly confused everybody, right? <laughs> All we're doing is taking a picture and playing with it, right? If you oh. want to change that picture, you yeah. have to do that. Oh, you want to change that picture? Yes. Mm. The, easy, the easiest way I think would be to, to mark that as a placeholder for that. I think with a paintbrush. Okay. I, I, I forget where that was. Style and. Image uh, maybe, under image. Okay, set as placeholder. Yeah. And then now, plus. now go into the plus and plus. get a this, new picture. This plus, I believe. Oh, you think you do it there? I don't know, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't do this on a iPad. I know. But, Hit the plus down here and choose another photo. Yeah. So I'm going to choose kumquats. Oh, no, I don't want that. I'm going to take plus, choose photo, take this one. And now I have a different picture there. Occupy but all those other attributes are, pay are on this new picture. So what do you mean by the attributes? Well, the, the size and the scale and the opacity and all that stayed yep. with that as a placeholder. Yep. Excellent. I don't see where a placeholder is. You hit the plate, you hit the paintbrush, you're selected the picture, you're on the picture end. Yeah, and I've got the and you tap the paintbrush. Up, and I'm in style. You click images. And then click set as placeholder. How do you get rid of that setting if you don't want it any longer? Clear. Clear. <laughs> oh, I have movie and that's what I'm trying to get rid of. This picture has oh, a Oh, you have a movie. <laughs> and that's why I want to get rid of it. So I, I don't just, I just delete it and put a different thing in there. <laughs> True. Well, how do you delete it? Point. Hit the uh, select the picture and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Boom. Okay, and then go back into the plus. Correct. Now, if you'd have chosen a, one of those templates that already had pictures in it, yes. It all has those attributes that, that go with that document. When you put your new picture in, it goes in with all of those existing attributes. Now, for those of you new to this, right? The key things we wanted you to get is how do you put in a picture? And then how do you get the text to work around it? Okay. So we hit the plus sign to get the text. And then we hit the paintbrush and arrange to change the way the text wraps around the picture. Instead of automatic, we chose around. So when dealing a picture, we know how to put one in. It goes where you have the cursor. And then to change the way that it interacts with the text, we hit the paintbrush, we hit text wrap, and 
select around. And then if you know that, that's the basics. As and when you know that for pages, it should work the same in uh, the spreadsheet numbers or the keynote presentation software. Exactly. So all that operations is the same from one app to another. It's not like somebody wrote pages and a different company wrote when, I mean, somebody wrote Word and a different company wrote Excel and they don't even look alike. <laughs> Bill, can you do all of this in Word? Absolutely. So which is better, Word or Pages? <laughs> he uses Word. You want to ask Greg or ask me? <laughs> Greg, which is easier? I, I don't have Word anymore. I don't pay for Word. I don't have, I don't now, have if I live, If I lived in a Microsoft world and all, all my friends and my family used those, I would be in that system. I guess that's a little it's easier. Way. It's easier not to pay for it and you use it to, Free from Apple. If you, I, agree. I don't pay for it either. If you, uh, if you're in a PC, use Word. If you're in a Mac, use Pages. Is the best way to say that. I've used. No. Word. I'm in a PC and I use Word, and it has all the same features, just works slightly differently. And I like what I'm seeing with Pages, so I have nothing against it. And you are talking about Word program on the iPad, right? On the iPad, yeah, you could use that. I think Pages is more powerful than iPad Word. iPad. On the iP on, when you're working on the iPad, use the Pages, you're saying. But you could I do would, it. I would, from what I've seen here, I really like it. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty straightforward to use. OK, thank you. If you oh, want to use it, if you want to use it on a PC, you can go to iCloud.com and there's a, a uh, online pages program there. It's not quite as fast as running it on a Mac, but it pretty much has the same function. Bill, if you have uh, something in Word, uh, uh, can you convert it to uh, pages or open it in pages? Greg, yes, you, you open it in pages. I don't think you can convert from Word to pages. I don't think Word acknowledges pages exist. Yeah. If you open it, does it carry with it all the... Well, the first thing you'll find out is you, you'll be missing some fonts because uh, Microsoft has some of their own uh, uh, copyrighted fonts that you can't use. And so it'll try to substitute those out. Uh, and, and as any program, if you go from one program to equivalent program, sometimes you lose stuff in the translation. You, you wouldn't want to do that all the time. You would want to do it as a once, once, once in a lifetime deal. If you're going to go back and forth with somebody who's working in Word versus Pages, I think over the long run, you're going to, it's not going to be as smooth as if they're both on the same program or application. Exactly. All right. Hey, Bill. Said, uh, yes. Jim McIntyre. I just want to make a comment. I have documents that I have made in Word and in Excel, and I put them on my iPad with pages and numbers, and they work just fine. No problem. In the Word documents, did it pick up all the little things you did in terms of? Uh, as far as I know, it did. Yes, I mean, maybe and pictures and all that stuff. Except but or, some... ordinarily, it works just fine. That's good. Okay. Well, occasionally you'll run into stuff that won't translate. You know, de depending on how deep you get into things, it's just like two languages, foreign language. There's not equivalent word in the other language. Sometimes you have to, you know, say a sentence to mean what one word means in a different language. Right. Well, that could well be. I don't know that. But ordinarily, it works just fine for me. All right. One other feature I'd like to show you. Um, and what we've got to do is open the other document I sent you. So if you go back to- First of all, how do you get out of this particular program? Do you just okay. swipe right. up from the bottom? 
No, just tap where you can. That will, but if you tap right now, this one has been saved as starters three. And it's in recent documents. So if I tap documents up here, and I'm in recents, which is what's selected, and I go to starter three, there it is. Okay. What do you do if you want to delete it? Oh, well, why would you want to delete it? I don't want to. <laughs> you, you press and hold on it while you're in recents here. <clears throat> and one of the options is delete. How did you get that? I'm looking at recents, yes. No, when you when you're in the document. Because the, you know, I'm gonna want to save it. Let's say you you know you create a document, you're gonna to want to save it and name it. It's already saved and it's named up here. You have to go up to the top. Yeah, but you, let's say you created a document. Now you want to save it. It's already saved in recents. You have to, I think you have to go into recents and rename it. Uh, when you're in the document, you oh, say, you say you go. You go out of the document. So let, let me start a new document, okay? All right. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to go to templates here and I'm going to hit blank, right? And it says blank six at the top. Yours may just say blank. If you click up there, you can rename it. Okay. I'll name it my first, right? Uh, where are you, Bill? How do you get into naming a document? Just tap the name at the top of the document when you set it up. Oh, so it's not like uh, the computer where you have file, new document, or file That's name correct. Or something. File, save. It's, it's closer to pictures is what I was thinking of. Yeah. All right. So, okay. so now as I'm working, I can't lose it. I just start typing. And it's continually backing it up in documents. Uh -huh. So when I click documents here at the top, there's my first. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So it's always going to come up as blank something, and then you rename it to whatever you want, and that's what it is. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Right. And then when you want to delete it, and you hit and you put your finger over it, and you see the delete and you click the delete, it does not delete. <laughs> I'm deleted. I just deleted it. You don't have now or you're not in recently deleted, are you? <laughs> I'm in recents. So I got I got this one called blank five here in. See it? Yes. Yes. You look at my screen? I'm yes. pressing on it. It comes up and says delete. I click on delete or tap delete and it's gone. I guess I just have the wrong computer. You can also hit the select and choose whatever you want and delete from there. So I could select multiple at once by clicking on this one and this one. And then done. Oops, I got to delete. At the no, bottom. on the bottom. Yep. Okay. For those. Thank you. Third time lucky. Okay. For those of old timers who have a tough time changing, this this is pretty nice, <laughs> right? And you just have to get used to clicking the places you want. Okay, now I'd like you to go back to the email. So just press the home button, go to mail, and click on starters two. And again, I have an obsession with bamboo. <laughs> this is an bamboo, right? 
with all kinds of little things about bamboo. We have, and it's, and it's divided into sections, right? It says an information sheet. Then you scroll down a little bit and it says moving to a new home is a second category. And as if I move down a little further, I have a thought staying healthy is a third category. And then keeping the bugs at bay is a fourth category and a subcategory to that is mites and mealybugs. <laughs> okay, is there anybody who's not at where I am? Because we want to get everybody here. <clears throat> We want to open it in pages. And now Greg mentioned this at the beginning, there's something called styles. And styles allows you to, well, in the end, you're trying to make a table of contents, all right? So my major entry in my table of contents is all about bamboo. Where was it? Where is it? <laughs> Hold on a minute. How did you get there again? You get the plus sign? How did I get to this place? Yeah, where I you got the styles. Oh, I'm I think looking you for have it. to click the edit, and that's what I didn't know to. Yeah, you have to click the edit. Hit the edit? Yeah. Where's that? Where did styles go? Oh, okay. As long as you have this in front of you, I'm going to click on the first item that says all about bamboo. Well, I'm going to actually, I'm going to click on information sheet. So I move the cursor down onto information sheet. Just watch me do this and then we'll go back, okay? What I'm trying to do is create a table of contents that says information sheet has some major categories and some subcategories. So I'm going to click the paintbrush. It says default style. I'm gonna make this heading. Then I'm gonna scroll down where it says moving to a no, new home. I'm gonna click the paintbrush, change default to heading. Then I'm gonna scroll down to where it says staying healthy. Let's move the cursor down to there. Heading. And then we're going to move keeping bugs at bay, paintbrush, default, heading. Mites is going to be a subheading. So that's going to be heading two. And then mealy bug. <laughs> Okay. More mealy bugs. Default heading two. And now I hope this works. <laughs> if if I if I now get out of that and I go over here to the dots and dashes, ooh, my battery's dying. It says insert table of contents. Think. Oh, I'll come win at the end. I guess that's where the cursor was. I'm gonna uh, get rid of that.
Hmm. You wiped out the first one. Did I? Yeah. What happened to Neely? Yeah. You, can you do an undo? I can do an undo. Okay. You, 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 you selected the line instead of just putting a cursor, maybe, I don't know, maybe you need to add an, another line or something. Okay. There. Oh, yes. That worked better. Okay. So I got mites and keeping bugs at bay. Do I have mealybugs? Looks to be right. Mm -hmm. Let's go back up. Let's see what this one is. That's a heading. That's a heading. So I should be able to go here. This should work, right, Greg? <laughs> oh, yes, it's going to. <laughs> okay. well, we still, we I don't missed know. the first one, right? Or no, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. I you're missed right. the Neely by, I mean, I missed subheading two. Anyway. But where's your content? Next page. Click the little uh, symbol icon to the right of documents up there in the, the header so you can see the, the pages. That might help. Oh, you mean? Thumb, turn thumb page thumbnails no, on. I understand. Why aren't your headers, or are they going to come up later in the body of the document? They are. Information. Where was the, where was the generate table of contents? The three dot, the dots. The um, you have documents. You have view options, and it's right here. Got it. Okay. Ah, that's why it didn't show up, Greg. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I thought right. the subs are supposed to be indented, though. I did, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to cast aspersions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to undo this. Now, how do we undo stuff? It's this little thing here. And I'm just going to start undoing until it's all gone. If I press and hold the undo, I can come down there and start resetting. And get redo. So I'm putting things back in. And I'll bet it's very much like um, Microsoft Word, where you can do it about 40 times or so. You can undo and redo. All right, we have this document up. First thing I want all you folks to do in the next five minutes is insert a picture. <laughs> so let me give you three minutes to do that. Set timer for three minutes.
Bill, in the meantime, while we're not doing anything, uh, getting back to select all, if you put your cursor in front of any word, then tap on the first letter of that word and you'll highlight everything. Oh, <laughs> select all. <laughs> Ta -da, drum roll. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you can put it in front of any word and then tap the word. Just put it in front tap of any letter. word. Yeah. That's and an, easy, and an easy way to move your cursor is hold down on the space bar. Go ahead. And can then, 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 it, then it, try it. Now you can move your cursor real nicely. Uh -huh. Okay, that worked. Wonderful. <laughs> Together, we all make a good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, up, update on that selection. One, one tap selects the word, two, the sentence, and three, the paragraph. There you go. I think. <laughs> one tap on a word, two taps, the word, three taps, oops. Mm -hmm. Again, it may not work that way on mine because of the mouse I have attached. That's the way it works on the on the uh, Mac. Yeah, with, that's the way it works. With that, without a keyboard and without, yeah, that's the way it works on a Mac too. Yeah. Without a keyboard and, and a mouse, I think it works on the iPad. Okay, it works that way in Word as well. Everybody get a picture inserted? No, yes. 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 Did you really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK, now I want you to insert a object. So do the same thing. Click the plus sign. And if you scroll down, if you scroll down, you can click all these funny looking things. Come on. Are they in the image gallery? No, you click the plus sign and then you click not the pictures, but you click where it says shapes, geometry, objects, animals. I want to put a, what do I, <laughs> nature. Maybe we can get a bamboo on here, nature. Any bamboo? No bamboo. We're back, we're back to palm trees. If you click on it, you can drag it over and place it anywhere in your document. There is, there is a bamboo. Oh, well, where was it? Do, do this, go up to the little uh, magnifying glass there. Up left, right there. Now type bamboo. Click on that and type bamboo. <laughs> B A M B O O. You can also get there with nature and just find what. I didn't see it there. That's a palm tree. There's bamboo. but it won't let me drag it out of there. That's interesting. Oh, there it is. Yes. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yes.
Now, if you hit the paintbrush, you can change that shape. You can do a bunch of stuff with it. Oh my goodness. Hmm. All right, we have gone from being able to just open, we've gone from opening, well, low, look, you, you have now have the book, that's in the left hand screen of what you're seeing up there. So you have the book to be able to look up things, adding charts, adding tables, positions, add images and shapes, okay? And it takes you to that page. We're able to put in text. Thing we didn't talk about, but, uh oh, I may be locked up here. Ooh, there we go. We didn't talk about highlighting, but if you select a text, if I double click on a word, I've got the word, and I go to the paintbrush. Is that where you highlight? Yeah, there. That's the color of the text. There was a highlight here somewhere I saw. Oh, drop cap, which is an interesting one. Makes the first letter, in this case it was I, be a dropped cap. Where is highlight? Color it's in the, uh, it, it went in that whole strip when you highlighted the uh, word. That was one of your choices. Oh, was it? Yeah. Highlight. Must be a way to change the color too if we played around with it for long enough, right? Okay. Bill, another way to get to that that uh, help document or, or guide. Yes. The th the hit the three dots or the more up there and then scroll down to the bottom and pages help. It brought next one up. Oh, that's what's new, but above that was pages help. Understood, we'll go back. Pages help? Yes. And that takes us to the actual, ooh, yes. That's the same, that's the same thing you had everybody download. That's but you don't have to go out, you don't have to go to, to books to do that. It's built in. Beautiful, beautiful. Keyboard shortcuts. Yeah. Then that's <laughs> that's also online. You can you can reach that uh, well. I don't know about for the iPad, but for the Mac, you can get on online and set a bookmark in Safari if you want. Yeah. Okay, any other questions, anyone? A real short one. Put on your thinking caps, everybody. What do you call a snake? That's a little greater than 3.14 meters long. Bigger pie, better pie. <laughs> Dead. Come on, come on. You can do it. We can do it out here. Come on. What do you call a snake that's a little greater than 3.4 meters long? Python. Oh! 
<laughs> Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> Damn. Oh. That was it's a Python. All right, everybody. Hey, Bill, I'd like to plug a, a, please, please, a, a great. That, I'm gonna do a forum forum next Thursday about why I switched to a Mac. So if anybody's <laughs> interested what you can do with a Mac, that then uh, send me an email and uh, I'll send you the sign up information. What's your email address, Greg? G Purdom, G P U R D O M at iCloud.com. And what time is it? It's going to be 10 o'clock to 11. Okay. Thursday. By the way, thanks for your help today, Greg. That was Thank great. you. Yes. Any other questions, folks? Was it why I switched to Matt, Greg? Yes. 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 <clears throat> I, will, I too once was a PC user for a long time. I started using PCs when they cost $10,000. I didn't buy it. <laughs> Any other questions, folks? Mm -mm. Thank you. Have a, have a great week. See you next week. We're going to talk about numbers. Thanks, Bill. All right. Thanks, Thanks, thank you very much. much. Yes. Thanks, Thanks, Bill. Good to be back on the screen with you. All right. Same day. Same here. Good to see you, Leah. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, everybody.